And let me just turn the layer off. That's where we started. And that's where we ended, right? So off and then back on. And just like that, it's cleaned up. I love this stuff. All right, so you guys really seem to like these videos where I take a shot like this and then I clean it up and fix it and make it look like there was no softbox, especially you guys on Instagram, like there's no softboxes or anything. I do those speed edits on Instagram and you guys just love it. So I'll keep putting them out there. Um, this shot was no, not even intended to be, it was intended to be a BTS shot really. So you could kind of see what the space looked like. Um, you can see I had a soft box up here and then two large strip boxes, right? They could have probably come down a little bit. I was trying to get some light in the hair and angle them down a little bit. Um, uh, the first thing, well, I did some, some initial edits here. Just, I brought up the exposure. Let me just reset it. So that's what it was right out of camera. Not bad. Uh, with the edits, maybe a little bright. Um, I could bring the exposure down just a little bit, a little bit less. There we go. Something like that. And let's see if I do the Instagram crop four by five, how close I can get it. You know, I probably want to give her some headroom, put her in the center. And that's, if I want to get a full body shot, that's the best I can do now, you know. If I wanted to come in and do three quarters, I would have zoomed in and done that, right? That wasn't the intent. So let me go back and we'll, we'll crop it to about there. And we still got a lot of stuff in the shot. So um, at that point, that's pretty much all we can do in Photoshop. Um, let's, I mean, in Lightroom, let's go ahead and edit in Photoshop. All right, in Photoshop, here we are. We'll go ahead and you know, I don't even, let's see, we'll do a control J. I was trying to think of, you know, I open these up and I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it until I look at it and think about it for a second. So let's do a control J, duplicate the background layer. And uh, we'll do the lasso tool and let's just start trying to fill this stuff in. So I know I want to get rid of that over there. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to select it first, choose right click, fill, content aware, hit OK, and let's just see what it does. OK, that was a little weird. So let's come up to edit, content aware, fill. And now let's get this preview out of the way. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to, uh, I have show the sampling area and uh, output to current layer. Those are my current selections, okay? And I'm gonna take this selection thing here and I'm going to select where I want it to take sampling from to fill in that area because it was picking her and the soft box. And um, so now you can see in the preview, um, we've got this big old shadow over there. I think that's gonna be the best we're gonna get. So I'll hit okay. And it filled it in and we got this big thing there, but I guess it's better than it was, right? So let's come over here and do this other side. I'm going to go around the shadow on the soft box. Get my selection, right click. Let's try the easy way again. Right click, fill, hit OK. Make sure content aware is chosen. That side worked a little better. So let's do, I'll do the rectangular marquee tool this time and let's just select this right here. Right click, fill, content or fill. Okay, now we're, you know, 70% of the way there. A uh, little cleanup is in order. So let's do a, now you could do this on a new layer if you want or continue on this current layer. I'll just continue on this current layer. Let's get the paintbrush tool. Actually, let's, select get a selection of the subject so i'm going to use the quick selection tool come up to select subject and hopefully it will do a good job of selecting just her and looks pretty good you know you can come in and inspect yeah looks good control zero to recenter so I'm going to right click on the selection and choose select inverse just to get the background selected. Okay. 
And what I what, what I like to do oftentimes is come up come down here and create a curves layer, and that creates a mask with my selection. And I just I don't even use the curves layer sometimes. I just use the mask to save that selection and have it right here. It's probably a better way to do that. If you guys know, let me know. But I have the layer here, and I can always just come here and right click on it and choose add mask to selection and I can pull my selection out of it every time and it's just down here in a layer if I need to come back layer later and do this selection again it's there there's probably a way a better way to save selections um, in Photoshop if you guys know um, throw me a bone down there in the comments and let me know that's just the way I've always done it um, I'm probably ignorant to better ways of doing it though so come back down to uh, this layer that you want focused on here, right? And I've got this huge, I've chosen my paintbrush tool. I've got this huge selection. Make sure that your hardness is set to 0%. We'll keep the flow at about 15 because we want to be subtle. And I'm going to grab this right here and just start painting. And I'm just all, holding down the alter option and grabbing a color, right? And it's loaded up that primary color there. And I'm just painting with that color just to try to kind of blend it in right and then I'll do the same over here this is going to be a little challenging over here and I'm just sampling colors as I go down because there's it's kind of a gradient and the way the light is hitting um, so let's I feel like it should be a little darker as it goes down let's just kind of sample some darker colors as we go down and I'm just swiping across, right, just to kind of, and there's a shadow there that's going to be tough not to kill that shadow. Um, get this side a little bit more. I like this little shiny part, the fold in the paper that's going across horizontally. That's cool. This part's going to be a little difficult to blend. Um, let me just bring this down a little bit, and maybe we... And I just swipe to the right a little bit. And as you can see, I've just got my background selected. So if I swipe on her, nothing happens. It's only impacting. That's pretty good. Um, you know, I might want to clean this up just a little bit. I like this right here because there's a shadow and it, it retains depth. I always say that in these. We get a little depth retained. And, um, you know, maybe we could swipe across here just to kind of clean that up just a hair. And that's pretty good. Sometimes I'll make it smaller, real smaller, because you can see anywhere where maybe you left a swipe mark, mark or you left it. You know, when you make it smaller, sometimes it's just easier to see those things. I can see maybe in here. Uh, maybe I need to blend it a little bit more. So I'll grab this right here, take a swipe right across there like that. And I mean, that's pretty good. I'll hit Control Zero to recenter, and I'm going to deselect and let me just turn the layer off that's where we started and that's where we ended right so off and then back on and just like that it's cleaned up i love this stuff all right if you guys enjoyed this give me a subscribe give it a like uh, i really appreciate it and if you're still watching right now towards the end of the video you rock i appreciate it always thank you so much